Hi, Holly. If I would have waited a second or two, I wouldn't have had to push that start over button, huh? So we got Holly back. We got Sharon back. Anybody else? This is crazy. I know I've seen lots of trouble with the internet for everybody, but this is my first time of having it be a mess. I thought about trying it on uh, Facebook, but um, not everybody's friends with me on Facebook, so that wouldn't have worked. I'm just going to use my finger because... These are the best tools that I've been, ever been given. Okay. Well, I don't know that everybody made it back over here. And I closed the other window, so I can't share it out. Well, we got five of us that made it back. So I guess that's a start. So um, you can kind of get a, an idea. Thanks, sis. Of, um, you know, what you want to do here. Again, you can see it now with all the marks. Kind of get an idea. I've got the wrong eye on the wrong place, but that's okay. Yeah, I really don't like the cheeks. We're going to just not even mess with them. So that way I can put this up if I want it. You know, I can bring it down wherever I want. So. <laughs> oh, you guys can't see it, but I have uh, orange paint all over my laptop. Hi, Laura. We're having terrible connection problems today and some um, user problems, me. So let's do um, the, the nose is still wet. This eye, I'm really, I'm really okay. Both eyes, I'm okay with there. And I decided not to do the cheeks. So let's try... Um, a straw and see what kind of um, marks I can make with this. And I always want to practice off on something. So I'm just going to make some marks. I don't think my straw is flat. Okay, so we're done with that one. Let's try another color. Boy, I have paint on everything, everything. So let's put some red dots on. I love dots and lines. So there we go. So basically, I'm getting, I'm pretty much down to the eyes, and um, for the eyes, I am going to outline them first. Okay. 
because to me that's part of their main design is the outline and get that done And my favorite, like I said, this is my favorite pen for doing this marker. And any chisel tip will work. So I have them outlined. Now I have to determine what color the eyes are going to be. And because there's still turquoise paint out, one of them will be turquoise. And it's going to have to go on the orange one. So... determine which is for the orange eye and it's this one so I'm just going to paint my eyeball and my paintbrush is coating is coming off that's because I tend to leave them in the water so we have a turquoise eyeball and you know what i was didn't get to use my neon green so this one's going to get a neon green eyeball yeah my paper towel so I just want to try to get the eyeball up to the black line and then I like to take and not leave this at a point kind of give it its little little bit of shape there a little thicker in the corners of the eye And I made that one a little thicker than I wanted to, but that's okay. It's all good. And when the eyeballs are dry, I'll put the black in the center of them. So that's the eyes for now. Now we have this one in the paints all dried on it. So now I'm going to do a little bit more. So you kind of get an idea of the different steps I do. Now, um, you could easily just cut your shapes and glue pieces of paper on them. You could use scrapbook paper. You could use your painting papers, however it is you want to um, decorate them. You can do that. Hi, Judy. I'm glad you made it back, especially since I did this for you, you know. So I am going to take my um, black fine mo paint marker in which I know this one's almost dead but for some reason I don't see the other one laying around here and it is here I just don't know where because you know um, one mark isn't enough I like again the outlining and just adding some black hit and miss no rhyme no reason And I'm going to add a little bit of white. I'm sorry I lost you, Sharon. And I'm just going to add a few white dots, hit and miss. I like to put white dots near the black because um, I do definitely like a little bit of black and white. And you can always just pick a spot on your outline and add a few little white dots because black and white makes things pop. So now it went from fairly simple to that. And again, I have all these paint pens here, so I could add any colors I wanted to this. You know, if I wanted to, say, make little turquoise dots inside of the yellow, which will just add to 
the design, but not all of it's even going to be seen because we have an eyeball that's going to sit on this. So that is our orange eye. And you can move it around, um, you know, and determine how you want it set on there. And then this one is, it's dry enough to go ahead and put the outline on. It feels kind of funny when you're drawing on this because if you've cut in between the corrugates, it's really soft and flexible. And I do use the wide one and then go back to the small one. And I've got to um, uh, just add some extra little black marks in there. Hit and miss. Let's do a few lines. This is the mouth, so let's separate the lips. And I've already closed the other one, so I couldn't put the link over there. I can make you a mod, Kathy. Will it let you go back? Oh, yeah. I have thought of that many times of using fabric with it. I think it would be just as fun with fabric as it is anything else. <coughs> so, anyway, we're, we're at this point. Um, not everything is finished, but with all the bumps we've had, I don't know if we will get it finished. Let's go ahead and try that down low. Put the nose, and it's a little bit crooked. See, it's already changed. So I know you're seeing it upside down, and I apologize, but I can't always put my eyes in the right place. Hi, Mary. So, that is the, the concept. And, um, I, like I said, I can go ahead and do more. I can stop here. And let's just do a little more outlining on the face. Because I did all these spots. But I, again, I'm the outliner. I guess that's better than being the outsider, huh? Okay, so I'm not very humorous either. And I, I don't worry whether my lines are exactly right or not because I like broken lines. I like marks. I like messes. And if I can't dis determine if the mess is the way I want it, I cross my eyes. And then I uh, see it in a whole different light. So we've done that. And then let's just add a few little marks to some of these. Let's try my soap dish. And I'm going to use some black because black is good color for accents. So you can see how many little black spots I have. And I'm just going to, oh, kind of turned into a circle. Okay, so it doesn't make a really a lot of dots, but it's pretty cool. So, what else do I have? I 
thought this one would be fun, but this is going to be a lot like our um, straws, too. Another thing that is good is toilet paper holders. And you can use those to make marks anywhere. You can shape them up or whatever. And I'm just adding a few little marks outside of the um, normal. I know that most of this is covered, so I'm just going to do them up there. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, I've been trying to work hard. I guess I need to be a little more knowledgeable, but I don't know if it's just me or if it's the Internet right now. So. So I'm, I'm okay with this so far. The, the, um, the mess I'm making is crazy. I'm going to have to give everything in this room a bath when I'm done. Um, I found out accidentally that my favorite marker makes a really cool mark too. If, you, if there's any paint left on there to get. So we're going to go ahead and... a couple little marks there and I think that I am going to since most of my marks are circles I'm going to go ahead and try um, using a paint pencil and getting a few things that aren't or not paint pencil paint marker getting a few things that aren't um, used with paint I'm just going to Add a, a couple of lines here and there, and just just a little more detail. That's all, you know. It doesn't need a lot, and you got to remember on the face that a lot of it's covered up anyway. And this pink really doesn't show up at all on that orange. Let's try a little bit of red. We need to put some. Nope, that doesn't either. Or there. So we know those colors aren't going to work well for us. So we're going to use something that will. Marks. That's all it is. Just marks. You know, think outside of your box, thinking, you know, think of something different that you want to make. It's just a mark. This is a great way to experiment because, like I've said already today, it's paper, paint, and cardboard. Very reasonable. And I just knocked everything to the floor. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to um, take my white now. And I'm going to go on some of my black spots that are thicker. And add some white dots because... Like I said earlier, somewhere in one of these mini lives I'm trying to do, that black and white makes the colors pop. Doing some dots and some stripes. And sometimes the white doesn't want to show up, and sometimes it shows up really good. I don't know. I think, it, I think it's got its own mind. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. So let's let's put this back up here and see, you know, depends on where you put things, whether or not you even see it all. And it's okay for things to hang off the edge. I think that's part of the coolness. Now we still haven't done this 
eye shape. And um, it probably needs a little bit of decoration up in this part right here because um, uh, it's blank. <laughs> and I just went blank. Um, that's crazy. So anyway, and where's Mr. Nose? There he is. So we'll put the nose there. And the nose still needs some pattern on it. But that's pretty much how I did it. And I have one more little thing that I think makes a big difference. You can do this if you want to. You do not have to. I'm taking a pencil. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of roughly go around this. And um, going for the clean glass of water. Not all graphite is water soluble, or maybe it is. I don't know, but I have been messing with it and playing around a little bit. And I'm finding that many are. So I went around this and I'm going to take some water and kind of smooth and move that around a little bit. Again, you do not have to be perfect. And I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I really like the way it does. So I don't know if you can tell. Um, it just kind of gives you a shadowy effect. And if it, if it gets to be too much, just kind of blot it up. You know, Mother Nature's not perfect either. So you kind of have a shadowy effect. And when you hold it back, which this is about as far away as I can get, it will um, add a little more depth. And, um, you know, if you don't want to get your line showing too much, just draw right on top of the black line. And then take your paintbrush. And then kind of go over that. And it just, it's just faint. I mean, you could use watercolor. You could use a Stabilo pencil. But um, I kind of like this. Just just a hint of, of shadow. Because I tend to go heavy on most things. Hi, Sabrina. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of, and, and you know, you don't even have to do that. Just the pencil outlines gives you just a little bit of shadow. And you can always come in with um, a Q-tip or a blending stub like this. This is a big, big honker here. And you can blend out with that. It, it does make, this makes it a little bit more intense a little bit darker if it's too much come in with your water and move things around a little bit soften it up so that would be how you can get some of the depth in again we'll put this back on here decide how we like it you know if we're happy with it we can stop and um, i still need to do the nose and a little more to the eyes and um, the eyes are, the blue is kind of messy, but we're going to go on with that because um, I, I just think we need to um, do it well. And it's dry, so we're not going to worry about it. Again, I'm going to outline the eyeball part. And this pen to me doesn't work as good on, on painting papers because I don't know if it's kind of an oil base 
It says xylon free, so I don't know, but um, I don't smell it. So, and then I'm just going to put the black in the center. And I need to straighten up my lines because I'm just not happy with them. So for me, that means get to a little littler marker. And then since you definitely need to put a highlight in, I think I'm going to use something to make it a little dot. Wrong Lazy Susan. There's not much white there. Just enough. I'm going to take and make a mark like that. Cover up that spot where the paint wasn't strong. And then add the little white in the eye. So now that's good. And just in case you wanted to know how I did the eyelashes this would be a good starting spot right here because it's already curved but it really is fairly close to um, the edge so I'm not sure how good it's going to do and I just cut me and so you know if I wanted to I can make an eyebrow, huge eyebrow. But I'm going to go ahead and do some eyelashes. And all I did was I cut notches. And some cut good and some don't. And I could paint this black. And now I could kind of set it. Um, it doesn't quite fit on that eye. Let's see if it fits on this one. Yes, it fits much better on that one. So I could paint that black and have really cool eyelashes. So that's what there is to this. To, um, if you want, you can also do your shading on like this division line of the lips. You could put a little bit of shading on that. And it just it's just going to give you some dimension. And you, I mean, that doesn't really show up a lot. You might want to do something a little darker with that one because your paint is kind of dark. Um... This eye, I'm going to have to fix this eye right now because, yeah. I'm glad you got to come, Larry. And we'll do our center. Hopefully there's just enough paint to do our highlights. And just barely. We could easily use the marker for that, but that's okay. So there we go. And if you want to do some hair, you could do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to cut me one more piece of cardboard out here and make... So, I know it kind of looks like a horn, but I am going to make more than one, and I'm going to make some skinnier. 
again, I got an eyebrow. So you could just, you know, add little curly hairs up here, you know, whatever it is you want to do. Um, I kind of don't like those. But let's give this one an eyebrow and this one eyelashes. And of course, the I'd get their eyes a little crooked here. And so um, you just keep adding until you like it. And that's all there is to it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm going to use just Elmer's glue, liquid glue. Um, if your pieces hang over, it's kind of smart to pick this up and mark on your cardboard where that is so that you kind of don't put the glue there and I'm just going to spread the glue out I'm not using a lot because I don't want it squishing out all over everything and going to hold it down for a little bit. No, they're just embellishments, but it could be wrinkles. Okay, so we have the mouth in place. I'm not going to glue the nose or this eye because there's still work to do on it. So I can go ahead and put this eyeball on. And I would recommend if you're using um, a glue that doesn't hold quick that you probably would want to set some weight on it. I was painted to go this way, but it's shaped to go the other way. So that's okay. Hi, Cindy. When did you get hair? Um, I have them. I don't use them very often. I use them in my hardest kits more than I use them myself. I don't know why I just don't, I don't need the sparkly. And I didn't pay attention. I know I have glue hanging over. I'm just going to hold it down for a little bit. So. Well, you should have had him come watch our masked singer. Somebody could have sung for you. Not me, but somebody. So I think that if you have any questions, ask, leave messages below. Um, I'd like to see your finished pieces if you want to share them with me when you're when you're done. If you decide to try this, even if you do with fabric, glory, I would love to see it. What about permanent crafters tape? Um, that probably would work as long as it's not in sunlight because sometimes glues just don't hold well under sunlight or um, like in a bathroom either because that would be pretty humid for the cardboard also. So this is as far as I get unless you want to watch me decorate the rest of the stuff. But um, I apologize again for my lack of ability to open on time and for my, evidently, my connection. Any questions? Suggestions?
Anything I didn't include that I should have? Thanks, Laurie. Again, if you haven't subbed, I'd really appreciate that. Thanks, Judy. Yeah, I know. Everybody's is messing up right now. It's kind of crazy. Thanks, Jersey, Sharon, Cindy. I think I might. Um, I definitely want to make more. Um, I have a lot of fun at it. I'm going to try the um, flat rate shipping box next and see if I like that. I, I really like the dimension that the heavy cardboard gives me. So it's kind of why I'm... Um, sticking with that so far um was gonna say something man brain dead brain dead brain dead oh i know what it was um what i did with this one after it was done is i did spray it with matte sealer several times and um, if you want it glossy you can spray it with glossy but my words of wisdom here, <laughs> if I had some, was I spray everything with matte sealer first. And um, I give it at least two coats and then I will spray it with glossy. And the reason I do that is because I sprayed some shrinky dink things one time. And I wanted them shiny, so I sprayed them with glossy, and it just ate them up. And um, I so now everything I do, I spray with um, the matte sealer first, and then add the um, glossy if that's what I want. Sorry, I was multitasking. I was looking for, it's a stamp, Cindy, that I use. Um, I don't see it out. And, oh, here it is. Clear over here. It's this stamp. It's from Joggles. This was actually a freebie. And um, it's just a foam stamp. Um, what are they called? Foamies, I think, art foamies at joggles.com. And uh, this was my thank you for, for the few things I ordered. So I love this one. But, you know, I don't know why you couldn't use plastic canvas, a plastic canvas circle or something. There are so many things that you can use for textures. One of my favorites is a um, hexagon shaped silicone hot pad and it's kind of a hexagon hexagon grid on it too and so it really works wonderfully so that being said i think i will let you all go and hopefully you've learned something you're willing to try something and if you do make a face share it with me i'd love to see it thank you Enjoy the rest of your day. Love you too, sis.